Okay. Hey, people. How are you? Yes, I'm touching my hair again. Whatever. Okay, so this is week three of the Kima Ocean Wave um, review. Because I told you I would be giving you updates because I was really skeptical about this hair. Like, I did videos and researches and questioning people. And I was on forums. Like, I was just everywhere because I wanted to be sure that I could handle his hair. I am a free twist, deep twist girl, a ruby curl. <sighs> the frizz started to get to me. Then I found Senegalese twist. And that was my everything. That was my life. Like, I live for micro Senegalese twist. But I'm trying to grow up. I'm almost 40. So let me just try to get, you know, a little curl pattern going on. So here we go. Um, this is week three. Again, this is Chemo Ocean Wave hair. It's 1B and 33, I think it is. If you look at my other videos, you can tell. And week three is like struggling. But maybe it's me. Again, I don't do hair. I'm into nails. So let me just tell you what I've been using and doing. Uh, so you can see maybe where my mistakes were. Maybe, you know, because they said don't put product. If you put product in it, it will tangle. It will be a mess. I mean, I think, because the only thing I've been doing with this hair is putting it up. Let me just do a quick. Well, you get, you know what an updo is. I hope you do if you're watching this video. I do updos. I've twisted and had it up. It's not this way, but you know, it's a little down in the front. Um, and that's it. I haven't left it out because I hate like finger combing the back. But it's still, as you can see, still has a pattern. The edges are a little shady. You know, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little, mm, it's a little struggle. But that could be me because I put product because I'm hard headed and I want it gloss because I like gloss. I think these and these little strands you see here are because when I'm pulling it into a ponytail, I think it's just shifting the hair. I don't think it's um, the technique or anything like that because I didn't see this when she first put it in. And when she does my hair, I am inspecting every row. But I've just been using this in my, you know, in between. And I did this the other day, so I shouldn't be doing it again, but I'm hard-headed and I like gloss. And I don't want my hair to itch. I'm not going to do my whole head, but just so you get the concept of what I've been doing. Just like that, you know, through each row. So, here's what it is. I mean, I think it still is manageable. It's still workable. I'm not taking this out until maybe the second week of January. And I've still been paddle brushing it and I've been having a little scragglies and I've been doing the ends but you can see the pattern is still good it's still intact it still has the curl to it it's not like the static frizz um I would like to leave it like this because I'm like an adult but a little luxurious I feel like I'm like a um soap opera star but I'm not um but like this little some of them are getting a little little crazy, but it can be expected. Um, I'm just showing you this before I tie it up at night so you can just see. And I'll show you the back so you can see what the back looks like, if it helps. I'm not sure how this looks. Don't judge me, but I just took it down out of a ponytail. And you see, so it tangles a little bit, as you can see, but I've just been pulling it apart. And that could also be where some of the frizz is coming from. But I'm still loving the fact that I can brush this. And I don't have a squirrel on my head. Or it looks crazy. And it's still manageable. So, I thought about, I saw a video where a girl cut it. She cut it to like right here. And it was like a whole new hairstyle. I'm not ready to do that because I want to put it in a ponytail. Maybe my last week I might do it just because... I know I'm getting my hair done over again, and if I don't like it, I ain't got to freak out. Because when it's gone, it's gone. And in my mind, it's like if it's right here, it'll have that curl. So it won't be like, maybe I might cut it in the back. No, I'm not doing it. Stop it. Don't judge me. And don't um, try to peer pressure your way into it. But anyway, um, so I have a little new growth. 
as you can see it's not insane but it's there um these kind of remind me of tree braids and i guess as you can see every layer it gets a little bit better hmm. maybe i'll just do it i don't know okay let me stop the point of the video is week three going on four still doing well still has the curl to it still has the the pattern is not frizzy i'm still brushing like you hear it sounds like you're doing a rug but the pattern still goes back to the same so i'm still here for it and i'm gonna give her another chance and it's not hard i'm just rough because that's what i am i'm just not that girly girl um oh so at night i just take it down the middle and you probably have seen this but if you want to watch again sure why not and give me your thoughts if you use chemo am i doing something wrong like how do i get it glossy without messing it up but at night i've been putting it up in a bun but tonight i don't feel like it because i just don't want to and i don't have to tell you why but i've just been taking it and doing the two strand twist and i'll show you the whole process it's nothing fancy I'm not going to put my whole face of makeup on. Be like, bam, look at me. That's not what I do. I don't do makeup either. And then it gets to the end. And I never show you this in a the video. They'll be like, oh, you can just twist it down to the bottom. No, you can't. Because I always get to the bottom and have that little piece left. What am I doing with that? So I'll just take another little piece and separate and hope it stays. And then twist and twist and twist. And then I get tired and bored. And then I just do this. As you can see, but just to keep it in that semi, semi twist, finger roll, whatever you want to call it. And then I do the same thing on this side. And it's just to keep the hair from getting matted together or um, just touching each other. Because they say when you keep it out, when you're home, you should twist it up or put it up so it doesn't tangle or frizz. And this is what I'm doing. And again, we're at that point. What are you doing with that little piece? But they don't tell you that. They just say, oh, I just twisted it. No, you did not. Because some kind of way it got messed up. But whatever. So I do this. And I don't think I have a... Hold on, I'm coming. So I've done with the same thing on the other side. And it's like dookie braids. I just take mine and put it together maybe you know, I'll do two I'll take the two and put it into one and just take a scrunchy stretchy thing and then bend it underneath so you have like I don't know if you can see it like that and then I put my bonnet on don't judge my bonnet because it's dark because you get white and you know with the grease that's what it is and I put the bonnet on like this i have the dread one because it was long anyway so i do that and while i'm magic i'm ready to relax and lay down if you have any questions comment below and i'll give you the update on my fifth or sixth week maybe my sixth week and then i'll show you how it has done how it looks um and you say yay or nay um I want to keep it in six weeks because my hairstylist is on vacation for a month and a half. I'm like, who does that? So I'm going to take it out and do something else with it for another few weeks as she gets back. But I'll show you the end result of what it looks like and what um, the end end of it looks like. Because people haven't done, you know, one, three, five, seven weeks. But I'm going to do it for you because I've been looking for this video. So I hope you enjoy this video.